Hello, this is one of the most basic examples in Quick Palette. We will calculate a palette configuration using primary packages without changing any of the predetermined settings. First thing we do is run the application and open a new data sheet starting from primary package. We will see two windows that show up. In the background, we see the standard cases and pallets window. And in the foreground, we will see our document window. The top section has the primary package information. Then we have the box constraints, including the case count as set at six. We can change that in another time. And we have at the bottom, we have the selected palette. And we also have the palette constraints, including the maximum height. We can change the units if we wish, where we had predetermined at inches, it can be in centimeters, millimeters, or put it back in inches. That's right clicking the bottom right corner. The inches, the units can also be changed using the tools menu. We will leave them as they are and calculate. The palette. So we go to tools, recalculate, and we obtain a list of boxes at the top right corner. We can go through them to see the different configurations in which the primary packages were turned on their sides or just placed differently. And at the bottom, we have a list of palettes. For example, if we chose this one, we will see that the, some boxes are lengthwise and some are transversal. The first configuration is only lengthwise and the second one is only transversal. The third one is optimized and produces a larger number of pallets, of boxes per pallet, sorry. We can select the solution and create a detailed report by going to the window menu and we will see the result. We see to the left, our primary package, to the right, the box with the packages inside, and at the bottom, we see the pallet and its information. We can also see pallet views, and we can see schematics of the knockdown flat box.